Let me rephrase this question. Instead of asking which city is the best city for biotech education, let me ask you a simpler question. And that is, suppose you want to go to a city, say New Delhi, right? From your city, wherever you are. And you have three modes of communication. One is a bus, one is a train, and one is an aeroplane, right? And you have to reach fastest. Which one would you choose? Of course, the aeroplane, right? Similarly, when it comes to the biotech education, we all think that any city which is nearest and convenient will be the best. But there are some catch. You have to be in a city which takes you to your final destination faster. Remember, your final destination of biotech education is high-paying job. And let's not shy away from that. You need a six-figure, eight-figure salary after that degree. So you need to be in the best city. So today in this video, we will talk about which is the best city for biotech education. Now, what are the criterias? First, I'll put that forth. And before even I put that forth, let me have a disclaimer. I have no regional biases about a particular city. Just because I'm in a particular city, I will not favor that. Or I'm not in a particular city, I will not favor that. I am going to give you logical pointers and then you decide which one is the best city. Okay. Now, if we divide our entire country into four parts, north, south, east and west, then we it will be easier, right? But before that, let's now look at the criteria. The first criteria is not the college, but the availability of jobs. So, you know, one of the biggest problems which um, youngsters, freshers face is not the job part or the interview part, but going to a new city. Okay, so if you are in a city where already a lot of biotech startups are there, then of course it is easier for you to get a job there because you will know where to go in that city because the cities are not so small, right? They're big. You need to know where to catch the bus. The languages might be different. The, the culture might be different. And suddenly you are in that city. It will be very challenging for you. So it is always important to do a degree in a city where more companies in biotech are available. The moment I say that, three cities only come into my mind or four cities to, to the max. And what are those? Number one is Bengaluru, Bangalore. The second, Hyderabad. The third, Chennai. Now, apart from that, we also have Ahmedabad. We also have Delhi. And we also have various other smaller pockets. But we'll come to that. But these are the places which are the best for your college degree. Now, even if I say so, please don't go and take admission in any college, okay? I'm going to make subsequent videos on our channel, evaluating every possible college. In fact, you can comment below which college you want me to evaluate so that as a neutral third party from the industry, I will evaluate them and tell you whether that college is good or bad, right? Now, coming back to the topic, which is, which is the best city? Is the city where more biotech companies are there. So that you are familiar with the city by the time you are doing a degree and the moment you are out, you know where to apply. Right? That's number one. Number two, the cities which has more startups, not established companies. Okay? Now, why do I say that? See, there are some cities, for example, Hyderabad, a lot of biotech established companies, there may not be enough startups. Right? So when you pass out you know, big established companies cannot take you because they are already busy with their experience, guys. They're already saturated. They may not give you a chance or you may get a chance through referral, right? But the startups, they're always looking. They're always growing. They're exploding with growth. They're always hiring. So they will give you a job faster as a fresher in research and development, in formulation development, in QA, QC, and clinical research. Anything you get in, it is easy, right? So the bigger the city, bigger the micro economy of that city for biotech and that means easier to get in but only those cities where more startups are there and that is where Bangalore wins over Hyderabad because we have more startups in Bangalore than Hyderabad. Now the third criteria is referrals and references right now this is biotech industry everybody knows everybody because it's small so if some CEO or somebody is referring you as a fresher it will be easy to get in, right? And that is where when you are in a city where uh, you have an ecosystem like this, your previous startup CEO will recommend you for your next job, right? 
because now you have passed that phase and you are already trained they may recommend you they will give you a relieving letter with nice nicely worded statements that you are uh, good for this kind of a job and you'll get a job in a higher established companies so you need to be in a city where you have startups as well as established companies so that is where bangalore and hyderabad is winning and coming to that uh, later on we also have chennai and ahmedabad now moving forward there is, there are certain things about colleges also you should know please don't take admission in a college blindly there are fraud colleges who are not doing the right educate they're not giving the right education and you can always book a career guidance session with me and i can tell you things which i cannot tell you on camera because that will lead to more complications but yeah there are some very good colleges in uh, bangalore as well as uh, hyderabad as well as some worst colleges also in these cities so be careful also one statement i will try to summarize everything about colleges please don't break your bank okay if they cannot give you a placement don't break your bank doing that degree instead do something where you can get a placement and if you are already passed out or you are struggling with placement come to us biotechnica will help you in placements and we already are doing it for our students we can do it for you as well now next aspect now that i have given you my verdict there is interesting pockets coming up which is gurgaon and delhi you also have a lot of companies coming in that area noida so these areas also you have lot of companies kolkata don't see a lot of uh, biotech startups coming in of late but uh, maybe in the future but for now no if i look at pune you do have uh, established companies but you still don't have startups in pune so probably even if you do your degree there maybe you will struggle for the internships but of course you can always uh, you know uh, come to the nearby city and do it like mumbai or bangalore but whatever you do always think of the long term right many cases industry oriented training will not be there in academy and that is okay they may not be able to train you on crispr or you know ai or bioinformatics you have to remember that you have to first build the base right and that should happen in the right city where you have a lot of startups so that you can get internships faster and then you can utilize those internships and work experience to get into established companies and that is how the entire industry is working currently that is how you will scale forward in your career now if in case you are from any other city don't please don't treat yourself as unlucky or just because you could not move to these cities doesn't mean that you are not good enough there are various online courses and resources available from biotechnica which will help you sustain grow and of course you can come to our lab in bangalore and do your hands on training also in molecular biology microbiology whatever you choose so my point today uh, the bottom line would be of course even though bangalore chennai hyderabad are the best delhi ahmedabad is coming up you also have dehradun and that himachal pradesh pocket also is there but even if you're doing a degree from some other city doesn't mean that you're unlucky or you won't have a fair advantage of course these guys will have unfair advantage but of course you can always come here after your degree and meet me and i can help you in getting a job in this city or any other city in india or abroad so the main aim of this making this video was this is the start of the series of videos which i'm going to make about colleges today i made about which is the best city next i'll be making a board which are the best colleges in 2025 for your biotech degree now that you have new education policy coming up nep coming up so which one is doing better i'll be making separate city wise videos also so stay subscribed and of course comment below which particular college you want me to review and talk about i'll definitely do that so that you have a crystal clear third party point of view about that college from an industry perspective right so that's all for today's video thank you so much keep shining take care bye bye